good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. I thought we were going to have a surgery. Didn't get enough figures in here today, man, but I will say that I'm very excited because we have some pretty epic stuff going on right here. Now, I will say that we're kind of kicking it into custom mode. Like, I kind of feel like getting into some custom stuff, which I'm not going to paint anything here today. We are in appointment by far. You know, we're not in surgery. If we were in surgery, I'd break the paintbrush out. I know I have my paints here, but I want to get it clear and make it known about what exactly we're doing here today. On this episode of Action Figure Appointment, we're going to get into all the good things and everything like that. If we were to paint here today, I think we would possibly end up effing up because I feel like we wouldn't make it under the 12-minute mark. I think we've only made that thing like once or twice. I'm trying to keep the streak alive, Brad. I don't want to end up like Undertaker at WrestleMania. I don't, I don't want to end up with Brock Lesnar standing over the top of me. You get what I mean? Anyways, let's dive into it, guys. You guys can see what we got. We got my man Finn Balor. I mean, it's a great day, right? It's a great day. We got Finn Balor in the house. We got my boy Rollins. We got Roman Reigns over there, MDT champion. I mean, we got some pretty good-ish going on right now that I'm pretty excited about. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, guys, before we waste any more football time. Now, AJ Styles, we won't be doing anything to, and Roman Reigns, we're also not really doing anything because this is just part of the custom prep process. I was just going to showcase some customs that I plan on doing this week, and uh, that includes these red gauntlets. Like, I want to get those gauntlets knocked out, and so I wanted to include that here today. So we can move him the hell out of the way. You were useless. Thank you for coming. Get the hell out of my face before I slap you upside the head. Alright, now let's get into the real stuff. Alright, so I do have this extra Elite 82 Finn Balor, figure of the year 2020 according to MDT. Can't wait to see what we get for 2021. By the way, we are getting a new Mattel WWE figure reveal on Tuesday. I don't know what the hell it is. We'll cover it on the channel. I will definitely break down a whole video on it regardless of whatever however small it is, however big it is. We will make a whole video on it. Now, next up guys, we have Seth Rollins and we have Finn Balor. I know AJ Styles is here, but we're just going to use his lower legs because he's got the black lower legs, and uh, you know, Finn Balor usually uses the the black lower legs. I don't like the skin tone legs. They look weird. It kind of cuts off and stuff. Let's just shut the hell up and dive in. So first up, we do have our, our two Seth Rollins right here. Now we have my extra fan takeover Rollins, and then we have my uh, my little fantasy attire over here. Can we zoom out a little? Can we back the hell up before I slap somebody? So if we back things up and we get in position, we have this fantasy attire Rollins, and then we have the fan takeover Rollins. What I plan on doing is getting this like yellowish colored pad. I want to switch this pad with the gold pad from the WrestleMania so you guys can see like this gold is a little bit more accurate. And then again, like looking at it, like this isn't metallic is kind of what I'm going for. So you guys can see this one is more metallic-y. That will match the metallic of the wristbands from the Elite 57 and the cash in here. So we'll see what that looks like. If it ends up terrible, I can always switch it back or whatever, but I'm going to be taking this knee pad off anyways. So since I'm doing that anyway, Anyways, we might as well go ahead and put it over there on the other figure. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell are you doing with this fan takeover. I'm going to take this fan takeover figure, remove the knee pads, remove the kick pads, place these kick pads over there, remove the actual kick pad. We really just need the upper part. Put in the all black ones. You're probably like, what the hell is that, Brad? That's kind of boring. Well, it is boring because we're all we're also going to put on plain black knee pads, and then we're going to switch the arms out with black uh, wrist tape arms, and we're going to put a gloved hand on the right hand. Now, you're probably thinking, that's just some Monday Night Messiah black and gold BS right there. And you would be correct, Brad, but after that, we are going to actually, not on camera, I'll do it this week. It's just sort of a custom prep here. We're going to prep to make the Survivor Series 2020 Rollins with the metallic blue down the sides with the black, you know, where he sacrificed himself and then came back and it was still Monday Night Messiah, which was really stupid. But, well, that's besides the point. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to get that switched out, make sure Seth Rollins is prepped and ready to go, and and then uh, we're also going to be doing a Finn Balor swap. Now, this Finn Balor swap is going to be between the top talents Finn Balor and also the Elite 82 Finn Balor. Now, I don't know exactly what I wanted to do here, but I think what I, I think I finally figured it out a little bit. I think I want to put this head sculpt over here, switch out the lower legs of this with the AJ Styles so they both have the black. And I don't know if I want, I guess I'll go ahead and put the sleeved arms, like these arms over here and these arms over there. And I hate this head Head sculpt, so I'm just going to leave this headless, and I can use this for a base of another Finn Balor later down the line or something like that. Double sleeve it, you know, uh, I can always put the hand tattoo back on there. We have a lot of options that we could use for that. I may actually just put the left sleeve in there and then leave the black wrist tape just to leave that armband and tattoo over there. So that way, if I put a black sleeve over here, it'll all miss and match, and you guys get the idea. Let's just shut the hell up and move the hell on before I just explode on somebody. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is go ahead and just switch up the arm. So we got the right arm of the Seth Rollins, and then 
and the left arm of the Finn Balors and their head sculpts. Now, you gotta know that I got the white trusty hair dryer in the house, right? I mean, it couldn't be done without the white trusty football hair dryer. So we got him in the house. Hopefully, we don't run into any troubles while doing so. I'm gonna get him in the... Remember, it's all down to a science. You gotta get it correct. You can't be coming in here all crazy and expect it to work. Alright guys, let's see if this is good enough. I hope to God that it is now the right arm of it. Oh my God in heaven. I feel like I haven't done this in a year and a half. Why is that? Why Why does it feel like that? I don't know. Oh God in heaven, why? Why does it feel like I haven't done this in forever? Has it been that long? Maybe it's been just longer than it usually is. Good God in heaven at the arm and the coming off and the hey, hey, it hurts me, man. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Yeah, dude, I, my fingers are like... You know, I haven't worked them out. I haven't worked them out in a minute, so it, like, hurts like hell. The fact that Mattel only gave us one black and gold wrist gauntlet pisses me off, Brad. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this off. God, I remember... Mm -hmm. This... I remember this, uh, head sculpt snapping one of my top talents' necks before because it wants to be a douche. Well, the Elite 82 head sculpt came off. This is staying this way. I don't want to... I don't want to do nothing else. He can just be a, a base until we get a different head sculpt in here. Uh... All right, this is good. All we gotta do now is switch up this, and we gotta get this damn head sculpt off, man. <laughs> All right, we got the stupid head sculpt off. I wasn't putting that on tape, man. Wasn't putting it on tape. All right, got the other, the Elite 82 on there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I think we just have an ish load of different, like, honestly, probably could stick some paper in this. I feel like this head sits too low, to be honest with you. I'm not enjoying that. Hold up. All right, I stuffed some paper in there. Maybe it sits a little bit higher. Maybe it doesn't. I don't freaking know. Regardless, we're doing a lot of lower leg switches now. So we got to slide this ish up. Bam. Finn. This head can just eat it. Sethel. The one Sethel. And the other Sethel. Oh, my God. And AJ. Dude. Screw the 12 minutes, all right? Doubt it's going to happen. All right, here's the other kick pad. I mean, I'm just, I'm just fed up, man. No wonder it's been two weeks. Two weeks? That's tomorrow. And then the damn AJ. Mmm, mmm. I had to fight someone tomorrow. By tomorrow, I mean today. There ain't no way, no way is this happening. No way. Why are we even attempting it? Hell if I know. And it falls. Why the hell are we attempting this at this hour? <laughs> All right, Brad, uh, yeah, not excited for this one, Bradley. Not excited for this one. All right, here we go. That one barely got really any heat on it, and it was kind of the furthest away, you know? I don't know. We'll just have to play that by ear, but AJ is completely broke down right there. Uh, I guess we move on to our other Rollins over here. This one's legs are super loosey-goosey. Jesus. All right, got that. Got that one off. Okay, sliding this peg out. Can we get it out? Alright, there's extra, like, alright, there's the knee pad that we need. Put that there. This knee pad can go over in the extras bin, I guess. Okay, he's good for now. Now we can take this over here, this over there. Uh, God in heaven. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need the other knee pads. Which one's left? Which one's right? Okay, this one's right, so that means this one's left. Slide this on here. Slide this this one on here. Put the pegs back in. I can just see it fading, Brad. The It is fading fast for the Finn Balor and the other Rollins over there right quick. Come on, damn it. Get it snapsy. God, why? Uh, try the other one. And it's mercifully hot. Okay. For some reason, the left side's on fire. Right side said, I'm done. Pop these out because they're useless. Pop the solid black on. They don't even go all the way on because they're... Mm, Mm -hmm. Get him out of my face before we have a real problem. Pop this off simply to slide this knee pad off. Slide on the bronzish, goldish one. And then reattach it. Come back. Reattach it. I don't know what's up with these damn lower leg pads. I guess it's the break, man. All right, I got it. But I guess it's that break, bro. That two-week break said, nah, bro, you gotta be grinding. If you ain't constantly grinding, you get left behind. All right, that Rollins is done. We can look at him in a football minute. But now this Finn Balor 
Oh, this Finn Balor, Bradley. The Finn Balor. Okay, got that. Get the skin tone out of there. It sucks because you gotta take out those kick pads because now the kick pads are still attached, which means you'll have to like pretty much reheat them because you ain't gonna get them off. And these are... <sighs> All right, Brad, let's see if we can make this ish happen. All right, this kick pad goes on the right side, and it's so blessed hot, Brad. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Uh, well, if people like me to rage, Brad, today was your day. Holy sweet mother of Christ. All right, I think I got it attached at, at just, just, just immeasurable amounts of pain. And then this side, oh, my Lord. Ugh. All right, got that. Got that? Uh, now just get, getting this off. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought, so that's good. Now we gotta attach this, and it's all loosey-goosey like a sum ho. Alright, other side, get that out of my face again. Just get it all out. Just get it all out. My fingers aren't in the mood. I'm burning alive over here. Alright, Finn Balor's done mercifully. Now all we have to do is get these lower legs attached, and I think we're finally blessed done. Forget 12 minutes. More like tw 12, 12 months. Huh. I'll see you guys at the end when we look at everything. Because I'm about to, I'm about to blow something up. Alright guys, finally, Jesus, Lord in heaven. I hope that you guys found some entertainment out of me yelling my head off. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into what we got here today. We got a couple Rollins, a couple Balors. You got the top talent slash, like, kind of current Finn Balor fix-up right here. I did adjust. I put a little piece of paper inside the of the head hole, of the, of the peg hole of the head sculpt. That way it would lift it just a little bit, and you can see the black down there on the lower legs. That makes it look a lot better. The sleeve is good. I don't know why my tail cut that off they should have just filled it all the way to the bicep swivel you know it's not the biggest deal but it does irk me a little bit and you could paint it but then you got paint rub and all this bs just fill it to the line man just fill it up to the line so it's not this awkward cutoff period right here they've done it many times in the past i don't know why you couldn't just do it like they've done finn balor sleeves like that before like uh, demon sleeves before i don't i don't know anyways we have the fantasy attire right here for rollins and i like the way the metallic gold looks you guys can let me know i'm sure a lot of you will say that the yellow looks better but i like the metallic gold just a little bit better it all came out. It was just a minor little fix right there. We have the Headless Elite 82. We will uh, do something with that. I have more head sculpts from BEW coming soon. Maybe we can plop one of those on there. And then we have the base of our Survivor Series Seth Rollins that we're going to be making out of my extra fan takeover Rollins. And I'll probably order a couple more, you know, just to do some more fix-ups and customs. But the base is complete. Now all we got to do is paint that hoe up and get him going in the metallic blue. It should look pretty damn fire. And maybe he can rock it on an MDT Live episode or something like that. But anyways, guys, that does it for this episode of Action Figure Appointment. Before we get the hell out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. Again, I do apologize first of all for no upload yesterday, but also for the rage. But huge shout-out to Dante Irizari? 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 Iggy? Iggy Smalls? He says, the news from MDT will never stop. Let's see what will be hitting stores, hopefully. And yes, Brad. Heck yeah. The news never ends, Brad. The news is always running and wild again we do have a new announcement on tuesday i don't know what it is but mattel put it out that we would be getting news about something guys so i guess we're gonna find that out together again we'll put up a full video on that and we'll get everything going but huge shout out to dante for the comment man thank you guys so very much for watching again sorry for the rage hope you guys enjoyed it anyways i'm getting the hell out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like seth rollins does when he jumps off the balcony or you'll get thrown from the balcony even though he didn't jump he got thrown from it you could end up like that if you cross the line like he does when he gets thrown. So it's just a never-ending process. Yeah. You cross the line.